Good afternoon. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Susie Q Knickknacks Reseller. This is Monday afternoon. Uh, by the time I get this finished and loaded up, it'll be it'll be ready to view Tuesday morning. I hope. Today we're going to have another haul video of mainly hard goods, a few clothing items, and just maybe one or two Christmas items left to put in there. I've been out shopping last week, came across just a few more Christmas items. I keep looking for them. But before we begin, would everyone please hit that like and subscribe at the bottom and share this with your friends. And at the bottom, I'll have a link to my eBay store where you find all this stuff on sale. And I'll have a link to my other channel, which is my cooking channel. Yesterday, I had another video on the cooking channel. I made some egg and olive salad. Sounds easy, and it was, and uh, it's delicious, so go over there and look at it if you want to. And my husband's channel has a link at the bottom also. His channel is called Brother Claude Reflex. Now to begin, I think I'll get the clothing out of the way because I don't have too much clothing I'm going to show right now. I have a lot more, I'm just not going to show much of it right now. I went back down uh, to a little town south of us in Mississippi and went back down there to the dry cleaners to pick up some shirts I took down there for my husband a few days ago. And I always look at what they have on sale. They sell things that don't get picked up from customers. And that's a good way to pick up things pretty cheap. Uh, I don't know if other dry cleaners do it. You might check out the ones in your area and find out if they do. But I found loads of this gorgeous ladies dress. I picked it up because it's a Calvin Klein. And that's a good name to look for. That's a well-trusted uh, designer name. Everybody knows the name Calvin Klein. And I thought that uh, little silver accent in the middle was really pretty there. It's got a gathered waist uh, across the side there. I like that little silver piece. It looks like a wrap dress, but it's not. It zips in the back. It's just a faux wrap. And it's kind of about mid-length. It's a size 10. And I thought the colors were pretty at the blue polka dot. This might be vintage. I'm not sure what decade it might be from, 80s or 90s. But I listed it already in my store. It'd be pretty for any little evening, date night, going out. You might could even wear it to the office rear dress okay let me see what else I have here oh. found this at Goodwill the other day the colors caught my eye on this this is a dashiki look at those bright colors it's got two big pockets on the bottom here's the back of it got short sleeves here I just thought those colors were fantastic when I saw it and I actually couldn't think of a name to call this. And I asked my husband, he said, oh, that's a dashiki. He knew right away what it was. I can always ask him about anything. He knows a little bit about everything. <laughs> I put in my keywords on this. Well, a list says dashiki, uh, ethnic, African. It's unisex. Give me one by men or women. And that is such a pretty blue color. And the red, it's got a lot of colors going on there. And I've got it listed. It's a size, says large, extra large. And I put the measurements, the dimensions in the listing. All right. There is a nice ladies zip up cardigan. There's no pockets on this. It's kind of a light pink, pale pink, long sleeve. It's a really, really soft, fuzzy, soft uh, knit. It kind of feels like fleece. The zipper works nice on it. It is a size extra large. It's got the name Carolyn Taylor, woman. I'm not sure what store carried Carolyn Taylor or if Carolyn Taylor had its own store. I'm really not sure. But I actually had this just hanging around my closet, not being worn, so that's a good place to source. It's just clean out your closet once in a while. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Here is a cute. Christmas sweatshirt. Who doesn't love a good Charlie Brown and Snoopy Christmas? Especially with Charlie Brown's poor little Christmas tree there. That little Christmas tree is so pitiful, but it looks cute. This is a 2X, which is usually a very good sell to, uh, size to sell on eBay online. Any large sizes, 2X, 3X, 4. And it looks in very good condition. It's by, you know, Peanuts 2017. I picked this up at a thrift store. 
uh, I think about three fifty or four dollars. And this, these peanut sweatshirts, I looked online, they sell around the forty dollar mark. So that's going to be a good little profit there. Okay, clothing. One more item. A sweater here. Pretty Christmas sweater. Vintage embroidered Christmas sweater. I love coming across these vintage sweaters that have embroidery on them. They are just gorgeous. See here? Let me see. Nope, take that back. That's not my Christmas one. It's just floral. I thought it was Christmas, but it's not. But it is pretty red flowers. So you could wear it at Christmas with the red flowers on it. And it looks like it has, yeah, it does. It has little, it's beaded. It's got beads on it. You can see them shiny there. They are shining. The beads and the embroidery on there is gorgeous. Looks like it's hand done. This almost feels like a velvet. It's very, very soft. It's lined. The lining feels like satin or silk. Here are the flowers on this side. Yeah, purple and red. And that's kind of a tan or a gold color. Let me see. It does not, or does it? Yeah, it does have pockets. It's got two slip pockets. It's a size large, 12 14. Mm -hmm. Now I got this there in my store. And along the edge in here, let me see. Got buttons. Mm -hmm. Got four buttons all the way up. No, five. Okay. And this would be pretty good to a party, a Christmas party. All right. That's all the clothing items. Let's get into hard goods now. Came across this as a Savage Show Me for half price. A gorgeous planner. Now, this planner on the bottom is in good condition. No cracks, no chips. Beautiful yellow tone. You can see the flower up close right there. I do believe it's hand painted. It looks like it is when I looked at it. On the bottom it says, Made in Portugal, J. Wilfred, a division of Adrian by Sadik. Now I looked up, before I bought this, I looked up this J. Wilfred online on eBay, and most of the, just about all the pots on there sell between 35 and 40 mark. But this size, this is kind of a large planner. Eight inch across, almost seven inches tall. Hand painted from Portugal, yep. This little $3 investment will bring me close to 40, which is nice. That's a nice return right there. It's the perfect condition. Okay, that's that one out of the way. Here's an item my sister brought me today. She came by today and brought some stuff to me she picked up at thrift store. This is just a hobbyist piece, but it's big and it's large and it's hand painted. Somebody put, took a pretty little glass dish or glass candy bowl and just painted it for Christmas. Beautiful red, green, pink. Got a little bit of glitter on there. You see snowflakes. I don't know if you can tell the glitter on there with the light. It's clear on the bottom. Yep, you see right through it. <laughs> now this is huge. And it's a hobbyist piece, which I will pick up hobbyist piece now and then. They do sell if they're done nice. This is, she thought this would be really pretty just sitting on the table, stuff it full of candy, <laughs> which would be nice for Christmas. Oh, that makes a nice little picture for my thumbnail, maybe. Yep, I like that one. Okay, here's another item she bought me here. You can see it already. This huge, huge vase. Urn vase. Now, this is huge. I measured it. It's almost 18 inches tall. It has a nice fern on both sides of it. It's got some design around the neck. Yeah, yeah. You can see the leaf pattern, the fern pattern, and around the bottom. Okay. This one, I'll, I'll have to ship this FedEx for sure. It's so big. But I don't mind. I shipped something today, FedEx. Uh, I just sold uh, a set of four salad plates. And they were kind of heavy after I packed them. So they went FedEx. This is nice, just a nice decoration piece. This is modern, but I don't, like I said before, I don't mind getting modern or vintage or antique items. If it's pretty, it's pretty no matter what year it comes from. It has writing kind of all around it here to me. It kind of looks like shorthand, but I know it's not. Well, I thought it's pretty, pretty leaf pattern on there. Really nice paint job. I have that listed. I listed it today. Let me see. Here's another cute little item. It's a little wood trinket box. She knows I love wood trinket boxes. Any type of wood boxes that are hand carved. This does have a number on the bottom. I think it might be a year. Looks like 56, 
or 66, but I think 56, but I'm not positive. It is really shiny, kind of looks like it might be teak. There is the inside. It's got somebody's initial, somebody wrote their initials right there, maybe the person that carved it. I don't know if you can see that initial on there. Nope, it's not picking up. But it's a nice piece of artwork. The carving is beautiful on there. You see it's kind of a leaf pattern on the top there. Just a cute little trinket box. I like to sell trinket boxes all the time. I've sold quite a few, especially when they're wood. Okay. Here's a new item in box. I did get this at Goodwill, but they are new. I had to open them up just to take a picture of them. But they're by a company called Fifth Avenue Cristo. And guess what? They're located on Fifth Avenue in New York. The design name is Portigo. They are crystal, red crystal coasters. I have sold coasters before in the past. They're easy to ship. I don't mind selling them. They're nice to sell. Now these are a pretty pattern too. They're really gorgeous. Elegant looking. That's it. Elegant. They all have the little labels on each one. Little stickers. Here you can see the pattern. It's a leaf design. Or it could be snowflake or fern. But I think it's a leaf design. It's about an inch and a half thick. Each one is wrapped separate in here. Okay. Those will be easy to ship. I'll just put this box into another box. Okay. Here's one more Christmas item I pulled out. Cute little snowman. No. Santa Claus, yeah. The Santa Claus, I guess, candy dish, nut dish, trinket dish. I like thinking of it as candy dish. There's this hat, it's the handle. It has this little boots back here on the back. Down here it's got a uh, house and some Christmas trees set up. Now, look at that cute little snow, uh, keep on calling snowman, Santa Claus. Look at that cute little Santa Claus face. Looks like he's got his eyes closed, like he's asleep almost. By the way, his hat's the handle. Now on the bottom it says WCL. Yeah, I can see that a little bit. I didn't know what that was. So I looked it up online or eBay. There are some other items, pottery, being sold in there just called WCL and they're vintage. Most of them said they were from the 60s. So I don't know if this company might not be uh, an operation today or not. But this is a little vintage Santa Claus candy dish. It's in good condition. No cracks, no chips anywhere. He is great. Okay. Here's back to some modern items right here. This here is some, um, what do we got here? Pioneer Woman. Two of these. They're just little mixing bowls or serving dishes. What else? Condiment cups. I like where they got the measurement inside. That says one cup. That one says half cup inside. I'm selling these together as a set, although they don't match. I think all my parents can go together pretty good. They're all just floral looking, colorful. My sister got these at Goodwill recently. I think she paid about 99 cents or a dollar, somewhere there. And I'm selling them together in my, in my store. Now here's something else I've sold recently. And I have some more to sell. Starbucks cups. I like to sell the jumbo Starbucks, especially the city mugs. Now I got three here. There's three here. I'm selling one separate. And then these two I'm selling together because they come from different series. This one... It's Munich, Munich in Germany, and this part of the city mugs. Yeah, it says city mugs on that one, Munich. Now, look this one on eBay, and this Munich mug sells for around the $20 mark. So, this one would be a good little sell by itself. These two here are from a, this is Los Angeles and San Francisco, and they're from a different series. They're called the Barista Series 1, Skyline Series. And on the inside, see, oops, inside it talks about the city. This one says City of Angels. This one says City by the Bay. And that's why I'm selling these together because they're a different series than the City Mug. I got these listed today in my store. Okay, got a couple more items here. This was really unusual. She found today and brought it to me. She bought it at Goodwill. This is a set of four. Now they look like Look like little mason jars. And they're actually called, a company's called Mason Craft and More. 
These are just little baking dishes, or you could use them for condiment, or saucer, or dip. But I know they're baking dishes because on the back it says, oven safe up to 350 degrees. Dishwasher safe and microwave safe. So they're little individual baking dishes. Like I said, you put dip in them. I have a whole set of four. And I love the red color. See? Now she said she got these for me because I had a whole set of four. And usually things are set tend to sell a little bit better when you have a set of something. Whether it's two, four, six. Okay. I listed those today in my store. All right. Two more things. And we'll keep this short tonight. This plate's got a little weight to it. It's a little heavy. Very ornate looking. It's from, oh, let's say China or Japan. One of the two. There's the back of it there. See, it's got that Japanese looking mark to it. It does say, yeah, made in China. If I read it, I know where it is. Made in China. It does say not for food, which is okay. I don't mind that. This would be a great little tray to go on your sink or a lady's vanity. You can put your earrings or jewelry there. It would be really pretty on vanity. And that's how I listed it as a vanity tray. And I'm sure it is hand painted. It's got little cutouts here on the corners here. It looks like it's trimmed in gold paint. Or it could be gold, who knows. Now look at that design, how pretty it is all around. Yep. And there's no chips or cracks on it. I listed it today. Now the last item we'll get to is this little set. That's a trinket dish and a little bud base together. I am selling these together because they look very similar. Look like they belong together. You can see the pattern on there. The base says made in Turkey. Yep, made in Turkey. EZGI. I guess that's the name of the company maybe. This little trinket dish you take it apart before I break it. It has some words here and across here. I can't really make that out. Uh, the words are a little bit scratchy looking. I'm sure that's in Turkish. So I don't know what it says. But it's really painted nice. It's beautiful. You can tell it's got some age. The little feet have some wear on them down here. It's even painted on the inside of the bottom. And all four sides are painted all around, designed, etching. Now this would be a beautiful little set on your dresser, a ladies dresser. That's why I'm selling these together as a set. Well, that's it for tonight. I didn't bring anything else out with me. I said I was going to keep this nice and short and I sure have. Let me see. It's getting dark outside. It's a little after six. Pretty soon I'm going to get this all wrapped up, put everything up, be ready to sit down and watch The Voice. I love watching The Voice. I try not to miss it when it's on. Okay. If you like anything in particular here, just go to my store and look at it and, or anything else. I've got well over, let me see, yep, a little over a thousand items in my store so far. And I'll have the links down below, like I said, to my store and my cooking channel and my husband's channel. We'll call this a wrap. I'll see y'all in a few days. I may be back Thursday or Friday with another video. Y'all have a good night, and I'll catch you later. God bless and bye.